Hello, and welcome to the first episode of the Insights from the Farm podcast, brought to you by Pivot Bio. I'm Rick Myrup, the Senior Director of Product Management and Marketing here at Pivot, and I'll be your host on this journey as we take a weekly look at how real world farmers are optimizing their nitrogen programs with Proven 40. Joining me on this journey of fertility enlightenment is the man, the myth, the agronomic legend, Dr. Ryan Van Ruckel, who leads our agronomy team here at Pivot. Ryan, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining me. Why don't you go ahead and tell the folks out there in the internet all about yourself? Hey, thanks, Rick. Thanks to be here. Uh, I, as you mentioned, I lead the commercial agronomy group here at Pivot Bio. And so we've got a lot of great agronomists out in the field working with our farmers, uh, working through harvest right now in 2024. So really excited to see all our yield results starting to pour in. Uh, we've had uh, quite an exciting year, you know, 2024 was quite a bit different than than pri- previous year in, in a lot of cases. So um, we had, uh, for the most part, a lot of the country had a lot more rainfall this year than we did last year. And and that really affects, uh, you know, how well our nitrogen fertilizer is going to stick around. And so we're real excited to see, see these results as we get into harvest. Yeah, it's been an interesting year, right? We had so much moisture early in so much of the Corn Belt, then it kind of dried out a little bit. But it's been a year where a product like Pivot Bio's Proven 40 with a new mode of act- action in nitrogen uh, is has really been able to shine and demonstrate why it's great to have multiple modes of action and as part of your fertility plan. Yeah, that's right. You know, and that's really what brought me to Pivot Bio here was to do some research and, and understand these microbes. Uh, the really cool thing about Pivot Bio is we've got these proprietary gene edits and it allows those microbes to fix nitrogen all the time, even when there's nitrogen fertilizer present. And so that kind of allows it to fit into everybody's nitrogen scenario on their farm. And so the microbes down there just chugging along, fixing nitrogen like it always did. Uh, But in a year like 24 with such big rains early on, there was probably a lot of nitrogen fertilizer that washed away and and we had a lot of leaching. And an environment like that is really gonna showcase how the, the nitrogen added by the pivot bio microbes can get into the plant and really make a big difference. Yeah, you know, you you were showing me this chart that we'll pull up here on the screen, but it's really kind of been amazing when you look at the difference this year versus last year in terms of the amount of precipitation we saw in the Corn Belt. Yeah, that's right. It's it's wild what the weather can do. So when we look at, uh, you know, like a percent of acres that were affected by drought last year, huge amount with below normal, well below normal rainfall, and then well below normal nitrogen loss in that situation, which is good for the environment and things like that. Um, But it's not really in a a situation where your corn needed more nitrogen, where you're going to readily see the effect of of adding more nitrogen. You know, fast forward to 2024, not only did we get enough rain to to fill our soils back up, but we got too much rain. And and so we ended up with a situation where the majority of cornfields in the U.S. have above normal nitrogen loss. And, uh, and folks are really seeing that here at harvest, even though it dried out late, you can see those spots that ponded a little too much where some of that nitrogen washed away and, and yields aren't quite as good in those spots as, as you were hoping, but overall, we're still seeing pretty, pretty good yield results on a whole. Well, and the the neat thing about this season has been, we've, we've actually been able to see some of the difference in the field as we've gone through the season, right? I mean, if we take a look at, uh, at some of these images that, uh, that have been submitted by farmers that have used proven 40 this past year. Uh, we can see that all through the season, starting here with early season, there's been a notable difference visually in being able to see the difference between Proven 40 and, and products that aren't using Proven 40. Yeah, that's right. We, we've seen that over the years. Uh, you know, Pivot Bio has a long legacy of doing these in-season nitrogen checks, and we've got a pile of really good data to go with that. But again, a picture often goes a lot farther than some of the numbers too. So it was uh, this year, especially, it was really easy to see the effect of, of pivot bio on those corn plants. You get you get bigger plants, they're growing a little faster, they're a little greener, there's there's more nitrogen in there above ground, and, and a lot of times a little bigger roots down there as well. So we got some examples we pulled out, you know, from New York to Illinois, uh, Kentucky to Ohio. Uh, you know, things are looking really good all the way through the early growths there. Yeah, you can see it all through the plant, right? There's there's additional biomass above ground. Uh, the root structures look more robust when we're when we're looking at those products that are the the crops that are used in Proven 40. It's really was a notable difference this year. And, and so much of that is driven by how much early moisture there was. 
Yeah, that's right. It was a tough environment for nitrogen fertilizer and, and with all those rains. But those microbes down there attached to the roots, fixing nitrogen and spoon feeding it every day. The end result uh, really shows up here in those bigger, greener plants. Yeah, even as we, we get into the, some of these images here uh, that we're looking at now from Effingham and Illinois, um, you can see even in late season, there was that notable difference in terms of uh, the, the sheer amount of biomass that was available. Yeah, that's right. It goes all the way to tassel. And that's uh, kind of got a neat picture from Nebraska where there was a split planted field and the, the proven 40 treated corn was tasseling earlier in that field. And so you kind of see that lighter color tassel showing up. Uh, that field also has a weird kind of a smile at the top. That that was uh, some tillage the farmer had to do to fill in a little gully there. Normally that's a no-till field. Uh, but the effect there, you know, you can see is the faster growth of that corn treated with Proven 40 made it tassel just as fast as turning that soil black. Well, you know, Ryan, that's a great example, but you you missed an opportunity there. I mean, for anybody like me that lives in the St. Louis area and is a big Cardinals fan, it's obvious that that farmer just really likes the St. Louis Cardinals and is trying to emulate Bush Field right there, right? It, it looks just like the outfields. I, I'm going to choose that that was purposefully done and, and that wasn't, you know, trying to account for something else. Now, the neat thing about all this is we're looking at a couple of individual examples, but Ryan, we've done testing over the past three years, and we've seen a lot of these results play out over a significant number of tests all through the Corn Belt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what you're looking at on that map is over 4,000 checks in the field where an agronomist or a territory sales manager or the sales rep was physically in these fields making comparisons over 4,000 times, and we see a really consistent increase. In, uh, in the chlorophyll content index, that's what that TCI, that's a, that's the green color. Basically, we're just trying to put numbers to those pictures we showed earlier. So uh, 7% greener, more chlorophyll, 13% more biomass, bigger plants. You put those together, you calculate 12% more in-plant nitrogen, even when you're replacing a portion of it with, not, with pivot bio. Yeah, it's really encouraging to see these in-season results, Ryan. But the rubber really hits the road at harvest, right? We want to see what the yield performance is when we replace a portion of your uh, nitrogen program with Proven 40. And what's been encouraging is we've started to take a look at years, as we've started to see early yield come in, we're seeing that uh, that, that in-season indication that the plant is doing better and producing more is really paying off in, uh, in pictures that we're seeing from the countryside. Yeah, that's right. We're, we're chomping at the bit to get all that early yield data. And, uh, and so kind of an appetizer, just to, just to see something, we can go out and look at ears and start counting kernels and, and weighing those. And uh, we've got a couple of nice examples that have, have come in. Uh, we've got one in here from Missouri. Uh, our agronomist, Kyle Bescro has a nice comparison here. Uh, the farmer replaced 30 pounds of their nitrogen and used Proven 40 instead. And even with that 30-pound replacement, we're still seeing an increase in kernel number and kernel weight. You know, just proven that, that that nitrogen being fixed on the roots is is the right place at the right time and, and it's making a big difference all the way at the end. Yeah, it's it's really interesting to see some of these comparisons that folks are doing out there in the countryside. You know, we've we've talked about the east, we talked about the west, we talked about the central. Uh even down in the Delta, we're starting to see some of these results as well. Yeah, yeah. This is another example that came from one of our agronomists, Jeff Hollowell. And this highlights another way that folks can use Proven 40. In this example, this would be the same nitrogen rate all the way across, but the right five years are Proven 40, left five years are untreated. And the top of that, uh, of his row there, is a good area of the field. The middle is kind of middle, and the bottom is a stressful area. And so these are furrow irrigated, and the water really ponds at the bottom of the field, and you have a lot of nitrogen loss. And so if you focus on that bottom row, you see a really nice increase in the in the tips of those years. So proven 40s add more kernels, preventing that abortion is really going to bring up the yield in those lower yielding stressful areas of the field. And we've seen that not just in the Delta, but nationwide. Anywhere where you have nitrogen loss, which sometimes is the whole field, but a lot of times it's just part of the field. That's where proven 40 can really bring up the bottom and really increase the field average too. Yeah, it's really interesting to see, Ryan, how how that plays out in different areas of the field, being able to bring up that performance in some of those historically lower performing areas as a way to, to increase performance, yield, and, and even ROI. And what's neat is we've got the, the yield map that goes along with this here, and, and you can really see how that happened in the field. Yeah, that's right. So we're, we're able to pull up those yield data from straight from the combine and then do some analyses on that. 
on the left side of that yield map, that's that low yielding cuff area where those bottom rows of ears came from. And there is always just a lot of noise with the combine when you turn around and, and stuff like that. So to get the best data possible, we, we cut that off and we're just looking at where we got clean, consistent yield data in the middle. And then on average in this field, we're seeing a six bushel per acre yield increase. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always awesome to see those yield maps. And, you know, one thing we've talked a lot about as we've gotten later into the season here has been really taking a good hard look at, at nitrogen use efficiency, right? How are we optimizing our nitrogen? Because ultimately that's going to help us to, to optimize our ROI. And, and we've got some good examples here from all across the country where we're seeing results and we're seeing farmers that really dug in and, and tried to work to optimize that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this we got an example uh, from Knox County, Illinois. We've got multiple yield checks as we go across the field here. Uh, big 12 row checks, half mile long, uh, and 12 of them in a row. And, and what really excites me is just how consistent the yield response is there, where Pivot Bio is just at, consistently adding on average nine and a half bushels in this field. Now, this is just on top. So, to your NUE point, uh, he did not replace any nitrogen. But at his 180 pounds for 290 bushel corn, he's at a really efficient nitrogen use efficiency, you know, in that 0.6 range for pounds applied per bushel. And so in a situation like that, especially in a year like 2024, using pivot bio on top can bring you more yield and, and keep improving that ROI. Yeah, that's that's pretty amazing consistency when you think about how how granular this data is here. And, you know, that's that's not the only example we've seen. We've seen them out west as well. Yeah, yeah. So we'll take it down a notch and, and talk about Kansas. These are great yields for the, for this area of Kansas. Um, we've got a rep that did multiple different nitrogen rates. And so we've got an untreated versus treated with, with proven 40 comparison at 155 pounds of nitrogen. And we see a really nice yield bump going from 198 up to 206. Uh, that does give you an improvement in your NUE by getting more bushels for that same pounds of nitrogen. But where you really start to move the needle is when you replace some of that nitrogen. So you take it down to 140 pounds of N and you actually get an even bigger yield increase. Uh, and the best use efficiency is at that 125 and, and still making 211 bushel corn. So something we, we commonly see, you know, it, it is kind of interesting to replace some of that nitrogen and get higher yields. You know, forever farmers were always thinking more nitrogen, more yield, more, more, more. Uh, but it, but we're really starting to learn a lot about that. You know, in the old one one or 1.2 pounds of N per bushel can sometimes be too much, as, especially if you got a tougher environment or you're lacking a little potassium or sulfur to go along with it. So really, you know, an example like this where we can really fine tune our nitrogen application and still get the same or better yield is a great way to improve your efficiency. Yeah, that's a really great example, Ryan. And, you know, we've looked at uh, a number of individual examples here, right? And, and it's early in harvest, so we're just starting to see these results come in. But the great thing is that this is in alignment with what we've seen historically. We've got multiple years of data that are showing consistent performance from Proven 40 when farmers utilize uh, Proven 40 to replace a portion of their nitrogen program. Yeah, that's right. We've been able to pull together 361 examples coming out of some of our structured trials and, and collecting some of those side-by-side -side results from farmers in, in prior years. And so when we look across those with nitrogen replacements of an average of 36 pounds of nitrogen replaced, we're still getting the same or slightly better yield coming in right at about seven tenths of a bushel better. And, and again, that's multiple year data and so it's really cool to see that nationwide. And it looks like we're seeing that again this year and really looking forward to see more and more of these yield results coming in. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting harvest. I can't wait to see more. And we'll be back weekly to be able to update folks on the Internet with all these great harvest stories that we're seeing so that they can understand how Proven 40 can help to optimize fertility on their farm. That's going to be a wrap for our inaugural episode of the Insights from the Farm podcast. Thanks for joining us as we took a look into some real-time stories from real farmers about how Proven 40 is helping them on their operation. While today's episode is over, fear not. We'll be back next week with more harvest updates and insight from our agronomy expert, Ryan, as we continue to take a look at how adding a new mode of action to your nitrogen plan can help you to get the most out of every acre next season. If you want to follow along and see real-time results from farmers who are using Proven 40 this season in your area, visit our Harvest uh, Performance page at www.pivotsprovenit.com and you'll be able to see yield results and local stories from farmers in your area. 
You can also follow us on social media by searching the hashtag ProvenIt for even more real-time stories straight from the field. Until next time, stay safe out there. We'll see you next week with more insights from the farm.